Hi, my name is Kim Sullivan. I'm 34 years old. I'm a former teacher for the deaf turned radio personality. I now live in the city of Ottawa, but I've set foot in over 30 countries and lived on three continents. And uh, I kind of feel like I'm a citizen of the world. Cheesy, I know. Just thinking about traveling and discovering something new gives me the butterflies. I love to learn about different people, different cultures, different foods. Truly, I think it's the smells, the colors, and really the shock that makes traveling fun. It was called Before I Kick The, and it was basically uh, myself accomplishing my bucket list by showcasing things to do in and around the city. A show very similar to yours, so I just see it as a practice run before accomplishing my top 10. I'm perfect for the gig. I have the right amount of crazy, spunkiness, fun, and uh, I'm very relatable. Right, boys? Yeah. I'm sure you'll love me as much as my puppies love me. <laughs> Since the age of four, I wanted my own travel show. So I decided that I would have to see more of the world and create a portfolio of video blogs in the hopes of one day being presented with a job like this. It's through them that I realized that not everybody has a chance to travel and that I could actually share with these people the excitement of discovering something new. Well, I'm sure you noticed in those previous clips that I have accomplished my top 10 hairdos, but I have yet to ride the top 10 biggest roller coasters in the world, yet to see the top 10 biggest heads, and yet to participate in the top 10 most colorful festivals. This dates back to 1998 while I was studying in Europe. I was traveling the continent and all I wanted as a souvenir was a stamp in my passport, but it was that transition year before the European Union, so a lot of countries weren't giving it. But I was determined. Amsterdam, City Hall. I noticed this office with a big poster of the Canadian Rockies. So I knock at the door and tell them I'm a poor Canadian student and all I want is a stamp for my passport. This lady lights up, gets on the phone, writes a password on a piece of paper and tells me to go through these massive glass doors that say no entry. Edgar would be waiting for me on the third floor. And he was. With a cup of tea and some chocolates, he introduced me to this man who explained the whole history of Amsterdam before finally stamping my passport and offering me a ride to my next destination, the Anne Frank Museum. Edgar pulls up in this stretched black Mercedes with the flags of Amsterdam on the front, and I just had to ask, who was I talking to? The mayor. <laughs> and the best part of the story is that when we got to the Anne Frank Museum, I got him for free because they thought that this person who had pulled up in the mayor's vehicle must have been very, very important. And I am. I'm the new host of My Top Ten.